Last time we learned all about injera, what goes into it, the process of making it, and how important it is in Ethiopian cuisine. Today is all about lunch and all about those dishes that are served alongside injera. So I'm really excited to cook today, to learn from Deba Bash, my new friend, and learn everything that goes in to these vibrant, incredible dishes. Okay, we are cooking. It is lunchtime. We are making multiple dishes. When you serve in jar, there's multiple dishes that get served alongside that. So what we've got going on over here is a nice vegetable dish, some in-season vegetables that come from the garden here at Debabash's house. Uh, there's some carrots, there's cabbage that's grown locally right here, potatoes, there's onions. Super delicious. Right here, we've got lentil wat in that. There's onions, oil, barbare, which is a spicy, aromatic, fragrant spice. Uh, and then lentils, we're gonna serve that alongside some scrambled eggs and of course, the bread. So Debobash just explained to me that because the forest is coming back, that also means that the water table is coming back. Floods have decreased, so they have a consistent crop season after season, and they're able to save their seeds. So I mean, of course, that becomes way more cost efficient. They're able to save their seeds. They can regrow those vegetables season after season. She likes her food a little bit salty or very salty. Mild. What do you think? Mild. Yeah? Yeah. Mmm, patata. Mmm, Woo! Okay, it is lunchtime. We are ready to eat. This is a super vibrant plate. It just looks incredible. Honestly, I could have taken pictures for hours of it. A little bit smaller crowd today. It is a market day, so most of the people are at the market right now selling the vegetables that they're growing on their garden. It's also a fasting day. Orthodox Christians in Ethiopia fast on certain days of the week. Essentially, they're vegan those days. They eat no meat or, or products from animals at all. They've made eggs for us because we've come to visit today, but normally they wouldn't, but there's no meat on here at all. So it's a really veggie-packed, vibrant, super healthy uh, plate. Really excited to tuck in. And it tastes absolutely delicious. Today was great. I love lunch. I love eating lunch with people who love investing time at the table. And it was great to connect with Dababash today, to learn from her, to learn about food that both her and her children love to eat, uh, and learn some new cooking processes and techniques along the way. And most importantly, I got to hear Dababash's story and learn how her working with World Vision has really empowered her and just elevated her to a place where she's able to thrive. She's been able to buy 
buy a cow. That means an income, it means milk, it means butter for her family and at the market. She has chickens here. She's got honey that she's growing with a beehive. She's been able to purchase things like a bed and other furniture. So it's a story of hope, joy, and inspiration. Unfortunately, that's not everyone's story and there's work left to be done, but this is a story that we can take as an example of what can be done in communities like this and in homes like Deba Bosch's. One of my favorite things in the whole world uh, is meeting new people and learning from them and learning how to cook their favorite foods. Uh, so today it's it's been uh, it's been an honor to sit with you and to learn from you uh, and uh, to be able to go home and and uh, use some of what you've taught me in my food. <laughs> and and I'll bring and I'll bring Berbere home with me. Berbere on everything. Berbere on everything. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.